I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. Fire investigators in Anne Arundel County are trying to figure out what started a deadly fire in Millersville. It started around 1030 this morning right inside a home here on Generals Highway near Cedarcroft Drive. A 77 year old woman was pulled from the home. Crews tried to revive her, but they weren't able to. Nobody else was in the home at the time. One firefighter also had minor injuries, but is expected to be OK. Well, you can now see internal affairs complaints against Baltimore County police officers. Today, the county's police department unveiled an interactive policing data dashboard. It shows three years worth of complaints and includes uses of force and the results of those investigations and demographics of officers or civilians involved in the complaints. Traffic stop data will also be available in the coming days. We have a link to the dashboard right now on our website, WMAR2news.com. Baltimore gets an additional $60 million for city school construction. The money is going through the Maryland Stadium Authority and the 21st Century School Building Program. The program aims to build 28 buildings that will become home to 32 schools. So far, the program has turned out 15 new schools and came in 5% under budget. Construction is already underway for nine more schools. Three others are in the designing stages and one is finishing up the feasibility study phase. The program provides an estimated 657 jobs for city residents with over $346 million in contracts being awarded to minority and women owned businesses. Starting off the morning in the mid 60s, thanks to cloud cover and some showers, which I think we're going to be tracking in the morning through the early afternoon. I think those rain chances start to decrease as we head later into the day. Temperatures, though, only going to warm to the mid 70s for highs. We're talking about getting to 75 in Columbia and Essex, a little bit warmer at the harbor, 73 in Stevensville, 76 out in Elkton. And the seven day forecast shows that drier and warmer numbers are in the store for us as we head towards your Sunday. Rain chances return late Monday into your Tuesday, exiting Wednesday. Wednesday, and we're looking sunny and cool as we head through the end of next week. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for all the updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.